Just to demonstrate to you the, the inspection and testing procedure, uh, we're going to firstly go through safe isolation. Uh, so we've got a proving unit and the approved voltage indicator. So we're going to make sure that, that works first. Make sure when you're doing this, you've got this turned to you. So you've got lights on here. So you want to make sure that you can actually see those lights. There's no point in you putting it in like that. It seems that the proving unit works, but you can't see that it lights up. So make sure you've got that to you so you can see that it's lighting up. And we're happy with that and that works. <coughs> the board that we're going to isolate then, We've got single phase board, we've got circuits, so our circuits are all on, we've got our main switch. As we said, particularly for your assessment and then obviously out on site, you must make sure that you get permission before isolating. So speak to your assessor, let them know that you're gonna be isolating and then say, if you're out on site, speak to your client, get permission to isolate. With these boards, what we wanna do is switch off the breakers first so that we're unloading the board rather than turning it all off on the main switch. So we're gonna turn off our breakers and our RCDs, so they were off, and then our main switch. We're gonna lock and label that. With these ones, the lock will go through the hole in the middle of the switch. And we can just lock that off. And that's just gonna stop that from being switched on accidentally. Uh, 